In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this dual tone double exposure. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Drool here. And as you can see, this is the final output. Now to create this effect, I will be using this model photo and also photo of this butterfly. So if you want to use any of these pictures, the download link is in description. So feel free to use it. So first of all, we need to remove the background and for that I'm going to select, I'm going to right click here on this tool and select my magic wand. Now by default, the number here will be different in the tolerance. So for this photo, uh, the tolerance, uh, tolerance number is 10. So keep that in mind and after that click on the background. So let's do a click now to add in, like as you can see, it didn't select this part. So for that, make sure you have this second option selected here. So do another click. Uh, until everything is selected properly and a little bit here now here here okay so I think this seems good enough but the thing is we have selected the background and we need the model in selection so for that go to select and inverse it so now the model is in selection after that go here and click on your layer mask so background is gone and now we need to create a new background and for that go and click on the second last icon so it will create a new blank layer and since it's background put it under the model after that right click here and select your paint bucket tool and in the color make sure you have black color and then do a click and now you can see the horrors of the selection that we did we're gonna fix it so to fix the selection first of all i'm gonna click on this layer mask here of the model then right click and then select select and mask now first we're gonna fix this really rough edges it's super easy all you have to do is add some numbers in the smooth here uh, a little bit more let me zoom in here so you guys can see properly so i'm gonna go and keep it somewhere around 13 and also add a little bit contrast so it's not overly soft i'm gonna go and so I think this looks all right and also make sure that you shift edge a little bit so we don't have a problem with this white colors. Uh, I'm gonna go and keep it somewhere around like 30-40%. So that seems fine. And if you want it completely gone, you will have to do with uh, use pen tool. But in case if you don't know how to use that, this will do the trick. So uh, this looks okay. And after that first hit okay. So the edges are fixed. Now let's focus on the hair. So for that, right click here and then again select and mask. And this time do nothing. Just go and, you know, paint on the edge of her hair. Uh, keep the brush a bit smaller and you should be good to go. I think this looks fine. Then go and hit OK. So the model is ready and now we can start applying the colors and for that uh, first of all i'm gonna make her black and white so go to your adjustment layer and then select hue saturation and here make the saturation all the way minus 100 so she's black and white after that i'm gonna make her a little bit bright now is it like this thing is specific to this photo if you use different photo you might not need it or you might need it a lot so go to your adjustment layer here and then select brightness and contrast and I'm gonna add 10 points in brightness just a bit more bright and then now let's do the color grading and for that go to your adjustment layers and then select a solid color in the solid I have the code already so it's 0 to B 4 F 6 you need something really bright cyanish okay you can change it a little bit according to your image but this should be the average color then hit OK after that, go to blend mode of this solid color and then change it to multiply. So we have this really nice uh, blue tint on entire model and we also have decent amount of contrast in the picture. So the model is done. Now we need to add in the butterfly. So for that, go here and select the butterfly photo. Now we also need to remove background here as well. So the same thing we did in the model, right click, uh, select magic wand tool and make sure tolerance is 10 then do a click click okay so it's done now we need selection on the butterfly so go to select and inverse so butterfly is in selection now if i zoom in as you can see this portion got left out and for that right click here and change to quick selection tool and since we want to add selection make sure you have plus option here and just do a little bit clicks until you get everything in selection 
So the selection looks good. After that, go and apply a layer mask here. Uh, and the background is gone. Now we need to bring butterfly in the model file and you can do it in many different ways. The easy one is just simply drag the file out like this. Then select your move tool and just simply drag and drop the butterfly here. Then close this file. We don't need it. Uh, okay. Now, of course, we need to make it smaller. So for that, press Ctrl T, uh, zoom out a little bit. If you cannot see the transform box, you can use Ctrl minus for that. Then hold your shift key and make it smaller from the corner like this and a bit more small. Now it's up to you like how big you want the butterfly to be. But one thing I did was when you have your transform options active like this, hold your control alt and shift key then drag it from one corner so you can spread out the wings a little bit more uh, just make sure you don't overdo it or it can look really distorted so i'm gonna go and keep it somewhere around here i think this looks nice then confirm it now to mix butterfly with the model i'm gonna go to blend mode of this butterfly layer and then change it to lighten so it blends in nice but we have one problem uh, the middle portion, the face or like the body of butterfly, we cannot see it properly. So to fix that, I'm going to create new adjustment layer, select brightness and contrast, and then turn on the clipping mask. So now when I make it bright, only the butterfly will get bright. So keep it somewhere around like 100%. That looks good. Close it. Now I only want it in the middle. So activate the layer mask and then press Ctrl I. So the, everything is hidden. After that, select your brush tool and make sure it's white color because we want to bring the brightness back in the middle. So make sure it's completely white color here. Then just paint on top of the butterfly here like this and it will only make that bright. Now again, you don't have to do it with every single photograph. It's just that this photo didn't work out. So I had to use this fix. So keep those things in mind. Okay, so this looks good and for the butterfly, I did not find any need to, you know, make it black and white. It worked anyway. So uh, for that, go to your adjustment layer and then select a solid color and make it as bright red as possible. So basically double F and four zeros. So make it super bright red, hit OK. Then right click here and create clipping mask. So this red color will only show up on your butterfly and nowhere else. Okay. After that, select the red uh, solid layer and in the blend mode, go and make it multiply. So the effect is ready, but as you can see, it looks a little bit dull. So to give it more life, I'm going to go to my uh, adjustment layers and then select brightness and contrast and make everything bright. So for that, I'm going to go and make it like 40, 50% bright. So I think 40% looks good. So as you can see, it's without brightness and with the brightness, it looks better. And to give it a little bit more contrast, because we only have two colors, uh, I'm going to go to my adjustment layers and this time select hue saturation and make everything black and white. Just basically make saturation minus 100. Close it. After that, go to blend option of this uh, black and white layer and then change it to soft light. Now it's really strong. So and we only need a little bit. So for that, go to your opacity and make it like 30, 40 percent. So I think 30% looks good. So now if I turn it on and off, as you can see, we have a bit more contrast. Uh, so this is without the adjustments and this is with the adjustment. So the final effect is ready and using this method, you can blend almost any image. So that's it. And one really awesome thing you can do, you can go to your adjustment layer and then create new hue saturation layer. Uh, make sure that this layer is on top of everything, okay? Then you can simply change the hue and boom, you can have as many color combinations as you want. I think this looks nice and you can also use this one. This one also looks really neat. So this gives you a lot more freedom and a lot more room to experiment with. So I really hope that you guys learned something from this video. And if you did, hit that like button. And if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, feel free to ask me in comment section below. Till then, goodbye. Take care and have some fun with Photoshop.